Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I need a scratch. Um, it seems like the right thing to do to uh, ensure that we can, uh, you know, combat this disease and get over it a lot faster. Um, I think you can never fully um, exclude any sort of potential risk, but I think you have to, I guess, walk in faith in these things. You have to. Uh, trust in uh, what they, um, that the work has been done as best they can um, and know that the cause is uh, important. And so you just have to just walk in faith in that. Um, well, I'm a scientist, so of course I want to try and support science, um, the scientific process, whenever I can. And uh, since I don't study viruses, I felt a bit useless these days, so <laughs> I felt like this is a very easy way for me to support the cause. Yeah, that's why I'm here and I'm excited. So that there's a huge responsibility always in conducting clinical trials, but actually the key question is to make sure we have the integrity of these clinical studies to answer the question so that if the vaccine does work, that we can be confident in that result and that will then lead to further development and hopefully deployment of the vaccine. And if it doesn't work or there's a safety question, that we, act, we can generate those data uh, from the, the trials that we're running. So at the moment, we have very small scale manufacturing for clinical trials, and there's a big technical challenge to upscale from that to give very large numbers of doses. And particularly when you think that if you were looking at a domestic requirement, there'd be millions of doses, tens of millions of doses, but actually this is a global problem, and we need hundreds of millions or billions of doses of vaccine.